everybody welcome to or welcome back to my channel or our channel right i'm sorry i didn't include you if you're new here i'm lauren welcome i hope you stay and subscribe and if you're not new welcome back thanks for coming back so i actually just got done filming a puppy q a video and i'm going to be filming a puppy essentials video product wise now so i'm going to be showing you all the things i use like every day for rocco his favorite things and just everything that has helped me personally so yeah and i will have links to almost everything that i can find in the description box below if you're interested also I also want to add that I'm going to make an Amazon storefront list of all the products that I'm going to be talking about today, but an Amazon version, so you can shop everything that I am showing in this video, whether it be the exact product or not, um, straight from Amazon. So check that out. I'll have that linked at the very top of the description box for you. And yeah, I'm kind of just going to go do a little walkthrough and show you all the fun things that have helped me so much with having a puppy. Also, this is my puppy if you're unaware. This is Rocco. He's a five month old golden retriever puppy. I've had him since he was eight weeks and go watch my puppy Q&A video if you want to know more about him before I get into all the products. All right, first off is this fun little area over here. It's very crowded, I'm going to admit, but it's just real life. I'm not going to clean it all for you if it's just going to get messed up right away again. So here we are. This crate. Number one thing that I needed for sure. This one is from PetSmart or Petco. It is the medium size and he is going to need a large if I end up getting him a new one. But if you are crate training, which I highly, highly, highly recommend, this is the crate we used for him. I will link it below. I also have another one that is at my boyfriend's house and that is basically the same exact thing but it was a lot cheaper and it's from Amazon. So I'll have them both linked if you want two different price points. Inside I have a blanket for him that I also got for him specifically from like Ross. Really cheap blanket that he can just use. And then I also have a little comfy fluffy dog bed in here which I also got from like TJ Maxx or Ross. Somewhere like that. You can find crate beds anywhere basically. So yeah, he just loves having a little comfy mat in there to sleep on. Next go-to thing which he's probably gonna get really excited for right now. Yeah, he knows. This is his food bowl. It is a slow feeder because before I had this thing he would scarf down his food and I kid you not like two minutes not even. And it was just very frustrating because then he would throw up sometimes because he just ate so fast so I knew getting a slow feeder bowl was so 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 important now he does not slow feed anymore he still scarfs it down because he's so used to this thing probably gonna have to get him a more complex one soon but a slow feeder bowl is definitely super good to have this one's just from Amazon I'll have it linked below next off super random but personally something that I love having is a drawstring bag for Rocco so whenever we go anywhere like to my sister's house when she watches him or to dog beach or dog park or whatever everything is in this bag and this is designated his bag this is from Amazon it was like ten dollars and it's huge it has a giant pocket right here and inside I always just keep like a bag of treats a ball um, some extra poop bags and just random stuff like that which is exactly what's in here these are the treats I've been using since he was little little these are the authority experts in nutrition training treats they're the chicken flavor ones they're super super mini little treats he's staring at them <laughs> and they literally look like pieces of caramel they look so good but you know, I don't think I'm going to be eating one. Um, but yeah, I have been feeding him more like human foods, like um, carrots and apples and stuff now for treats. But these are so good to have on the go. And when I was training him, like all the tricks and stuff, they were a necessity. I had to have them at all times. Another thing, golden retrievers especially, or just dogs that shed, is this Terminator brush. The family that I got him from actually recommended this for me. And I'm so glad that I got it because it's a brush for long-haired dogs. Pretty self explanatory you can see his hair coming out. So much hair comes out, literally. Every time I brush him, usually just after the bath, but this thing works wonders. It helps with the shedding a lot, and I highly recommend this thing. I got it from Amazon. I also use a toothpaste and a little toothbrush brush for him. It's actually over there, but um, it's just a little finger rubber thing that has little bristles on it, so you can get in there and brush his teeth with your finger. This is the Vets Best Nature's Healthcare Enzymatic Toothpaste. Veterinarian formulated. Um, I just brush his teeth not as much as I should, but I do it whenever I think about doing it. So yeah, it's important to get started early on teeth brushing because then they will be used to it by the time they're older and they will have obviously less dental problems, which I know a lot of dogs have. So yeah, this was his first harness that I used for him and I got so many questions on it when I did use it. It's tiny now, it would definitely not fit him. This is by the brand Ready. It's just a basic black harness. I got it from PetSmart or Petco, one of those stores, and it was just the best ever. He loved it. He knows what it means still. I think he recognized it. Do you remember this thing? Um, but yeah, it's definitely way too small on him now, but he loved this. <sighs> Essential lint rollers. Doesn't matter which one 
You just need lint rollers to have around the house, in your car, in your purse, at all times if you have dogs that shed. The poop bags that I use, this is so random, but I get these from literally TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, any of those types of stores, because if you get them from Target, they are like 20 times more expensive or anywhere else. So this is literally a 270 bag pack for $9, and they're usually so much more expensive. I like getting the, what's this brand called? Earth Rated, because they have some scented ones and unscented ones, but the quality of the bag is just so thick and I'm pretty sure these are like earth friendly too. 100% leak proof and they definitely are leak proof. I've never had a problem with them. All right, moving on. This I should have mentioned in my puppy Q&A but I just totally forgot about it. This is a snuggle pup. He loves this thing. He loves it now as a toy, but okay, he's gonna want it. This thing was lifesaver when I was crate training in the beginning. Um, it has a little heartbeat thing that you put inside and also like a heating pack. Kind of make it seem like it's a real dog because if your puppy is like Rocco, he came from a litter of nine. He was used to having eight other dogs around him at all times. So he definitely loved that snuggle pup because it really made it seem like there was another dog in there. He would cuddle with it and it was just a lifesaver for crate training. And I know a lot of people <laughs> Heard that too. He really wants his egg, but it's so loud. Another thing are bones. These are the Benabone brands. I think that's how you say it. This is the smaller version that he used to use. He still loves this thing, but it's so tiny and dirty and there's fur stuck to it everywhere. And then I got him this bigger one. He also loves this one. It's like the bigger version. And these are just so good for them when they're teething. He loves this thing when he was teething and he still loves biting it. He just loves bones in general, but I like getting him like these kind of fake bones rather than like actual like real bones because I don't want him to break his teeth on them and these are a lot gentler on their teeth. All right, another super random thing, but it's legit. As you can probably tell, his water thing. But this isn't just like a normal water bowl. It actually, it has this thing which has a filter in it actually and it just holds more water so you don't have to refill it as often. I literally had to refill his water bowl like five times a day when I just had a normal bowl. This has definitely helped. Now I literally fill it like one time a day or every other day depending on the day. Excuse me, mister. But yeah, this has been such a big help. And then also just a container for his food storage. Makes it so much easier rather than like getting it out of the bag every day. It's just a lot more handier to have a like storage bin rather than the actual bag. Okay, you're seeing like every angle of my house today in this video, but now on to walking materials, I guess you can say. I have this harness, which he uses now, and this is a really good one. He's running away from it because he always does. This is a Carhartt one. I just think it's so cute, and it's his color, so it literally blends in with him, and I just think it's adorable. Um, It's very heavy duty and pretty comfortable for him too because it has like this padding on it and stuff. Very adjustable. Yeah, I got this from Amazon. I just think it's really cute and aesthetic, a little harness. His leash is the one that I've had since I got him. I literally got it at like Marshalls or something. It's just a really thick rope leash from the brand Mod. if you're interesting. It's just black. It has this like comfy handle. It's very heavy duty, which he needs. And then it has a clip. And then another lifesaver thing is a poop bag holder. I think I got this as well at like one of those random stores, but you can get these on Amazon for super, super, super cheap. But yeah, just to hold onto his leash so that I always have poop bags available for him. Next, I need to make sure not to show you my phone number, but this is his collar. This is the first one I got for him. It was way too big for so long. His color is definitely green. A lot of things he has are this green color because I just think it's so cute on him personally. Major dog bomb things, but this is by the brand Kong, which is obviously a really good dog brand. And it's just such a heavy duty collar. It's so big so adjustable, so thick, so like wide. And yeah, I just think it's really cute. I actually upgraded his little name tag. So now I got this one off of Etsy. It's a little gold textured coin and it's getting a little tarnished. I don't know why, but hopefully it's something that can be fixed. Um, but it just looks like this. It says Rocco on it. It's just really cute because it's gold and I loved gold um, detailed things and the back just has my phone number. All right, back on my floor. <laughs> First off, I started off with this bed, which lasted a while. Honestly, he still loves sleeping on this thing rather than his new bed. It's a lot bigger and better for him, but since it smells like him still, he loves this thing so much. It also needs to be washed. This is from Ross or Marshalls and it was very cheap, very affordable, really cute, just a little small dog bed that he still loves sleeping in. And then we upgraded him to 
into a bigger bed because obviously he's a big boy and needs a bigger bed. So this one is from Home Goods and it was pretty pricey. But for the quality of it, like it's memory foam, it's so comfy, it's so cute, the colors are really cute. It's like $60 or something, but it's definitely a good investment because obviously that's where your dog like takes naps and sleeps and stuff. And you obviously want a comfy bed, so why not get them a comfy bed, you know? It's just a mutual understanding here, I hope. <laughs> okay, next off is his shampoo and soap that I give him baths with. This is the one that I've been using since um forever. I've gone through like three bottles already, I think. This is the Burt's Bees for Puppy Tearless Shampoo with Buttermilk. It literally has a picture of him on it, so it just, you know, it's for him, you know. Um, but yeah, I love the Burt's Bees ones. I'm probably gonna switch over to like the, the sensitive skin one for like itchy skin because he's been pretty itchy recently and like just scratching a lot, so yeah. But this one for puppies, super good. He's never had a problem with it and I've heard really good things about it and Burt's Bees is just a really good clean brand as well. You obviously don't need this, but if you have the money and you're able to make the investment and you're able to benefit from it other ways than just picking up pet fur, getting a Dyson vacuum. If you have a pet that sheds a lot, like Rocco, like a golden retriever, this is the Dyson V11 Animal Cordless Vacuum. It has saved my life. It is so good at picking up pet hair and just everything that he, you know, makes a mess out of or whatever. Definitely an optional choice, but a very, very good one. Okay, another thing is a toy basket. This was a blanket basket for, you know, my aesthetic purposes, and then it turned into his toy basket because he has way too many toys. I'm just gonna go through the toys and tell you where I got them and whether he liked them or not because you can get similar ones for your puppy if you think that they will like them too. So I already talked about this one, Snuggle Pup. He loved it at first, not even as a toy, but now he uses it as a toy and like a chew toy and stuff, so that's that. Most of these toys are so dirty because he is teething right now, so his teeth are literally falling out every single day, so a lot of the toys have like blood on them, which probably isn't very attractive and probably kind of gross to some of you, but sorry, I've watched them like 50 times and they still have blood on them, so that's not something I can really control. This little Tropic Canine little toy is from BarkBox. He loves this. He literally loves all his BarkBox toys, so I'm not even going to tell you that. Pig is also from BarkBox. This egg is from BarkBox. Something I love about this, though, is that once he rips this toy, because he will eventually, because he's just crazy puppy. There's actually a legit ball in here that he can play with, so it doesn't go to waste once it's ripped. It actually has a new toy inside, which is nice. This Sriracha bottle, his favorite, is from Target. I think it is a BarkBox toy, though, but I bought it myself from Target. This little lemonade is from BarkBox. This was one of his first toys that I got before I got him by the brand Go Dog for tougher um, chewers. So he literally has not ripped this thing up and it's been forever since he's had it. It has a squeak in it. It has really thick skin, so he can't rip through it, but he loves this also. I got it from, like, Marshalls. This robe was actually part of another toy that he had, which might be in here. Yeah, it came with this toy, but it did come out of the holes, so now he just plays with this as a rope. He loves ropes, obviously, because he loves playing tug-of-war. And this little toy with a soccer ball on it was also from Marshalls. He has this pretzel that I actually bought for him as well. It's from BarkBox, but I got it from Target. It's just a pretzel that has a little squeaker in it. He has this puppuccino, which is a squeaky toy, which my friend Celise got him. He has this sausage link thing from BarkBox. He loves this thing so much. He loves anything like rope like, um, so he definitely loves this. <sighs> My old slipper's in here because he loves this slipper as a toy and I don't use it anymore, so I was like, okay, you can have it as a toy, so he loves chewing on this. Well, he did when he was a little bit younger, but now he doesn't love it that much anymore. He has this Miss Amurica, um, toy from BarkBox, which he loves. He has this little, I think it's called a Nyla bone um, for teething. Little dinosaur and it smells like chicken and it's supposed to taste like chicken. It doesn't smell good at all, but he never really liked this thing. Um, when I got it for him, which is when he was going through his biting phases, he didn't like it that much, honestly. He didn't really use it. He kind of wanted nothing to do with it. He was looking kind of scared of it, but now that he doesn't need it anymore, he likes using it, so. I also got a Kong. This is a mini, mini Kong, though. It's for, like, puppies, but it's definitely too small for him now. I used to get the Kong Ziggies that would go in here and put them in there and give it to him as a treat when I would leave and put them in his crate. This is definitely very, very helpful um, if you just get, like, the stick treats that go in here. It takes a while for him to get it out. So yeah. And then I just got like a huge pack of toys from Amazon one day. They came with like some balls and some ropes and some other things that he already tore up. But this ball actually came with him when I first got him. So this was like with his litter. So he loves this ball a lot. We have this toy, which he just does not like. Keiko bought this for him. <laughs> this is the only toy ever that he has not liked playing with. This is an American Kennel Club toy and I just think it's too big for him. I don't know. Maybe he'll like it now, but it's a squeaky toy and good for teething, I think. So maybe he'll... Yeah, uninterested. Yeah, that's all the toys that are in here. I'm sure he has more somewhere. Kind of lost them over the months, but he loves to take his toys out of here. Pitch a Mr. Murica. 
I wanted to add on a couple more things that I forgot to mention in the video. The first thing is this Folex spot remover. This thing literally saved me. It literally removes the best stains ever. Um, it saved my carpet, saved my couch. This stuff is the best. And then I also have this rinse -a which is how I give Rocco a bath. I basically attach it to my shower head and it's super easy to give him a bath now because I didn't have a detachable shower head before. It was really hard to like bathe him with just like filling the cup of water and then like repeating that and stuff. And lastly, I have these lick mats. These are lifesavers. I fill them with peanut butter. I never have to keep them entertained. Like I literally use it while I'm giving him a bath because he'll just stand there and lick the thing for literally 30 minutes. So it's great. But yeah, that is going to be all for today's video. I will have everything that I can find linked below for you guys' viewing pleasures and purchasing pleasures. I may get a small commission from anything that you buy if it is an affiliate link, but if not, that's fine too. I just wanted to show you everything and give you some help helpful tips on products that I've loved for Rocco and stuff like that and just things that I've used every single day. But yeah, if you have any other recommendations of like life-saving things that you've gotten for your puppy, please let me know and please, please, please leave them in the comments because I'm always down for buying new products. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We love you so much and we'll see you in my next video. Make sure you follow us both on Instagram, Lauren Joan and Golden Boy Rocco. And yeah, thank you guys. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.